So we've seen a pretty volatile market over the last two years with the crazy ups after COVID and now the potential downs and, and declines in this market with the higher interest rates. One of the biggest potential changes over the next five to 10 years when it comes to real estate investing is possible state and federal regulation. Just in California last year, there was a bill that was proposed that was gonna tax flippers 25% on their profits. And this would have basically killed flipping in California. I mean, now we're seeing all these federal regulations that they're talking about putting a limit to how many single family homes a single person can own, whether that's 10, 25, 50, Whatever it may be, I don't really like regulation. So that could put a, a big squash on buying a bunch of rentals for yourself. If your plan was to own 100 single family residences to retire off of, the federal government might be able to come in and say, no, you can only have 10 or 15 or whatever that number may be. And that is really gonna change the landscape of real estate investing. For me, my plan moving forward is really just to be able to adapt. That's one of the biggest things that you as an entrepreneur, as a real estate investor, or just a business owner in general, you have to be able to adapt and change with the market and the conditions that are present. So if there's a cap on how many single family homes that you can own, then you need to shift to owning multifamily, let's say buying apartment buildings. There's always a way to navigate these changes. What I think the federal government and state government should be doing is loosening regulations on new construction and building. That is really gonna help the problem with the inventory. Really do still have a lack of housing inventory in the United States. And that is due in part because of all the regulations and the cost to build a new construction home these days. There's not that much money in building anymore. And the hedge funds are buying up all of the housing inventory that's existing. So even the new construction builders like KB Homes, the, the big builders out there are building entire communities and selling them to a hedge fund. It's basically called build to rent. They're building entire communities that are gonna be rental communities that hedge funds are then buying up. Because these costs are so high, paying real estate agents and all these closing costs and fees that come in with building new construction, it makes sense for the big builders to sell it directly to one big buyer that's gonna buy up a three or 500 home development. There's no commissions, there's no closing costs. There's a lot of the fees are wiped out if the builders can do that. The most important thing that you need to be able to do is adapt and change with the market and, and with these changes that could be coming and the potential regulation. So like I said, if the government says you can only own 10 homes, then you have to be able to pivot. And that's the only way you're gonna be able to become successful as a real estate investor. These changes are on the horizon. Nothing has changed or has passed yet, but just the talks of it happening and the, these proposed bills that are coming out, you know, things are moving that direction. So in five years, if these things actually do pass and become law, you're gonna to need to be able to adapt and you need to learn new skills. If that's learning multifamily, then do that. Learn how to analyze 50 unit apartment complexes, raise money. There's just so many things you can do to get around these potential changes. And, and again, maybe it's creating an LLC for every property that you own to get around those changes. And then you can own 10 properties in each LLC this is an example of one thing that you could do to get around these potential regulations that could be coming. If you're new to this channel, my name is Ryan Mitchell. I've been a real estate investor for almost 10 years now. And through this channel, we're sharing our experiences and our knowledge. So make sure you just subscribe to our channel.